Today I'm going to look at the Boulder Ranger Upepo. This is part of the Sapphire range. This range has expanded since it came out late last year and now there is 10 watches in this and a mixture of field watches, dive watches and GMTs including a couple of special and a couple of uh, black PVD coated ones. This Upepo is an actual field watch and I've already reviewed the, um, the other field watch which is the Ranger Cop G with the black dial. This watch is actually on loan from Boulder. I do like both the Ranger Cop G and this Upepo, but my, I think my preference slightly between the two is this Upepo. The reason is I think the, the Cop G has got the black dial, which I've got a lot of watches personally with black dial. And there's quite a contrast between the black and the yellow markers and hands. And it does give it a nice vintage look. So I think that, well, that's a great watch. The wasn't so sure about this watch when I saw the pictures of this on the Boulder website. However, the sort of matte khaki coloured dial and the yellow markers and hands, there's there's little contrast between them. And so this, this watch isn't as extreme as some of the new Boulder watches that have literally got no markers on it. In fact, they're, they're, they're completely blacked out. And But... You know, it's not eye contrast. So again, it's I think it's a good choice between the two. So for me, this watch is now a sort of hidden gem or a sleeper watch from Boulder. I think for the two reasons I've, I've just said, one is that it's sort of the, the photo on the website, I, I wasn't really sure. It kind of put me off a little bit and it just looks so good when it comes and the, the colour is absolutely so spot on and everything. And I do, like I say, like that little contrast between the hands and the dial, that works really well for me and on this watch. This has got a 316L stainless steel case and the size of the case is 40 millimetres. And note that the actual dial itself is 35 millimetres and it's 12 millimetres thick and the look to look length is 48 millimetres. It does wear, I think, like a 40, 40 millimetre watch. It wears bigger than the Boulder's Venture, which is mainly field watches, which are 38 millimetres, but have a short lug to lug length. So that's worth bearing in mind. It is 200 metres water resistant, which is ideal for a field watch. So, you know, no worries about getting in the water or really whatever, that sort of thing. It's got a screw down crown. The dial itself is half Arabic and half Roman numerals, which is the California style dial. As already mentioned, it's, it's a matte uh, khaki coloured dial. The, the actual lens itself is completely flat, sapphire. And I know that from when I put my calipers on to, to see the thickness of that, they, they like lay completely flat on that one. So it is literally 12 millimetres and, you know, there is no no added thickness in, in the glass itself, which does keep it really thin and wears really well on the wrist. It does actually come with a nylon strap and I will show you, so look at some other straps and things as well. And the back of the watch is actually got a sapphire again and displayed and like all this sapphire range it has got a an animal sapphire animal one of four and this one happens to have the subber on it and finally the movement in this watch is the nh35 which is a seiko automatic movement and um, personally think that's an excellent workhorse movement that you'll have actually no problems with at all but ideal for a field watch so for straps, I did try different straps that I already owned on it and didn't find any I particularly liked. So it's not not really what I'd call a strap monster, being in particular being this colour. However, I actually ended up with three bold, bolder straps that look really good on it. I mean, initially the the khaki coloured NATO it comes on is good. Uh, so, you know, you could very easily just buy the watch and keep that one on. And if you want to change it up a little bit, the... Boulder Expedition canvas strap in khaki. So yeah, it, 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 says, it says Expedition, so that's, that's straps that the, the Boulder Expedition watches were sold on at one time. However, I've used this strap, I bought some time back for various watches, Boulder watches in particular, and, and just think it's a, an excellent strap, and that looks really good on that one. And the other one is the Boulder Safari bracelet, and I've, I've got a couple of the safari watches that i own myself so i just took a bracelet off one of them and i think that looks really good unfortunately boulder don't sell that one separate at the minute so you know you'd have to have another safari watch but like all the you know the, the existing range they do eventually bring them out in time so hopefully they will bring this one out um, to buy to purchase separately overall i think i do prefer it on the bracelet but i am very much a bracelet man of late so 
I just think it looks really good on the bracelet. So what do I like about this watch? Well, first of all, I think it wears really well on the wrist, this, the, the case and the size and all that. And I do really like the Safari case very much and the bracelet itself, which I did forget to mention on is a quick release. So it's easy to do changes with that one as well. I think it's a tough field watch with a 200 meter water resistant screw down crown. It's got the very robust automatic Seiko movement. The dial colour, I think, is excellent. Really like that. That's really um, much better than I thought it was going to be when I've seen photos in the in the past. And the fact it matches close to their hands, the low contrast, really do like that one. And I think it's just a watch that's possible to use to do anything, go anywhere. So it's a guard watch, go anywhere, do anything style watch. The other thing I didn't, I've not only mentioned is the railway track minute marker. I really like that. I like that on any watch. I think it's just a really nice touch on watches the the california dial i think works really well on this one some people it's not everyone's choice but i don't mind it and i think with this being low contrast again works really well there's nothing i don't really that i don't like on this watch but i've got a few possible improvements one of them is i think give, give choice of a date because some people just prefer a day i Given the choice, I would probably go for the date. In all fairness, especially as a lot a lot of um, companies make it the same price with the date. So some don't, but I think you know the date is a good thing to have. And if you're going to put a date on, I, I I personally do like dates between four and five, which a lot of people don't. But the thing with this one, because it's got the sort of flat line at the six o'clock position and, and with instead of the number six, I, I think I would put it above that. So there is that nice gap between the sort of writing where it's a Safari automatic two hundred meters and that flat line at the bottom so that would be perfect for a date so get you know possible give that choice and the other thing is i think given the choice to either buy that on the bracelet or you know give the option to buy the bracelet after you've after you've bought the watch i think it would be a really good idea because the the brace i personally like it best on the bracelet and i think this crit release bracelet is 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 excellent and really really sort of makes the, the watch look at its best so final comment really thank you boulder for lending this watch i would not have actually gone out and purchased this watch myself from just seeing this on the site this is because in a real surprise and like i say uh, hidden gem <laughs>